It's mock draft season, and NFL Network's draft analyst Daniel Jeremiah dropped the 3.0 version of his mock this morning on NFL.com. The mock is full of trades and all sorts of excitement, and DJ had an interesting pick for the Ravens at number 30. He had the Ravens taking Iowa cornerback Cooper DeGene at that spot, saying the Ravens have a knack for watching tough, smart, versatile players fall into their lap. He also notes that the Ravens like Iowa players, so DeGene could be another player in that pipeline. He's six foot one, 210 pounds, and was a consistent player throughout his three years at Iowa. He had seven interceptions in his college career, playing both strong safety and cornerback. He's also a great special teamer. He could be an immediate punt returner or gunner on special teams. Now, cornerback is not the biggest need on this team. The Ravens already have their top two corners returning with Marlon Humphrey and Brandon Stevens. But we know how important depth is at that spot, and the Ravens have already lost Ronald Darby in free agency. There are bigger needs on this team than cornerback, but if Eric DaCosta gets on the board at number 30, and he feels like the best player on the board is a cornerback, and DeGene is that guy, he would not hesitate to make that pick. That's why I think Jeremiah makes a great point about the Ravens being patient and letting a really good football player fall to them. That's what they've done many years in the draft. Just go back and look at the Kyle Hamilton draft. I think everyone kind of looked around when the Ravens took him at 14 and said, how did everyone let Kyle Hamilton fall to the Ravens? That could be the case again this year. And the truth here is that the Ravens could go in several different directions in the first round. Could be O-line, it could be cornerback, pass rusher, maybe even a wide receiver. Those are all needs for this team. DaCosta and the Ravens will not be pigeonholed into taking one specific position. And that gives the Ravens a chance to be patient and let the board fall to them. So we'll see how this plays out. And before I go today, I want to remind you to check out Microsoft Surface for all your technology needs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again tomorrow.